Today we're going to be taking a look at the Yakima Blockhead Single Bike Truck Bed Mount, part number Y01117. The Yakima Blockhead is the perfect way to transport your fork mounted bike in your truck bed or on your trailer. It uses a quick release 9mm skewer that allows for rapid loading and unloading. Though it only holds one fork mounted bike, you can use as many as your truck bed or trailer can handle by purchasing additional blockheads. It'll accommodate bikes with both standard and disc brake systems. Its sleek design with the Yakima logo makes it stand out compared to other fork mounts. It's constructed of an anodized aluminum with a black finish, so it's going to stand up to the elements. It also features a lifetime warranty. Now that we've gone over the features, I'll go ahead and show you how to get it installed. Now you can mount this really anywhere in the back of your truck bed or trailer. You can mount it here at the bulkhead, on top, down in the bed, or on the raised rails there. Some people prefer to mount it in a less permanent way by mounting it to a cargo carrier, something they can, they can remove, or to a piece of wood in the back of their truck, like we're gonna do here today. We've just got a two by 10 stretched to the width of our truck. Either way, you will have to provide your own hardware. I'm gonna be using some heavy duty bolts as I'm just going into the wood. Now, if you were to be mounting it directly to the truck bed, I would recommend using some bolts and some flange nuts. Now, in positioning your mount, you wanna be aware of where your handlebars are gonna sit. That way they don't come in contact with the cab or anything else that you might already have in the way. So once we have it in position, we can go ahead and mark out our holes. And then we can drill them out. Now with both holes drilled out, we can go ahead and take our hardware and tighten it down. Now you'll want to be sure that your hardware is a quarter inch in diameter so it fits through the mount. Once we've got one side loosely installed, let's go ahead and tighten down the other side. Then we can make sure they're both tightened down. And then we're all set. Now let's grab our skewer. So in order to put it in, we'll need to undo the nut on the other side here. And we can insert this in either side. We're gonna go through this side because this is what's gonna work best for us. And then we'll replace that nut on the other side. Now we wanna be sure and leave enough room for the skewer to receive our forks on both sides, right here. Let's grab our bike. Now when we grab our bike, we'll wanna be sure and of course remove that front tire as our forks will be sitting on the skewer like so. Now we can tighten up and close our skewer. So the way you do that is you can come down here, you can adjust the nut on this side to make a nice snug fit or you can hold it in place and then adjust the skewer on this end. Whatever you wanna do will work, but we wanna be able to close the skewer and have a nice snug fit around our forks, but we don't wanna have it too tight because we might damage them. So we'll just kind of check it every couple turns. That looks pretty good. As you can see, we've got a little bit of force there. We'll just close it up. It's nice and solid and we're ready to go. Now with our bike completely loaded up and secured, let's go ahead and take it out on our test course and see how it performs. Here in our test course, let's first go into our slalom. This is gonna show side to side action, such as going around corners or evasive maneuvering. Then onto our alternating speed bumps, this is gonna show a twisting action such as going over potholes or uneven pavement. Then finally onto our solid speed bumps, this is gonna show an up and down action such as pulling in and out of a driveway or out of a parking lot. And that's going to complete our look at the Yakima Blockhead Single Bike Truck Bed Mount, part number Y01117.